Hi there, my name is Mark Summers, and welcome to What Would You Do? How are you today? Nice to see you. Look at these nice people. Oh, gosh. You know what? I need, uh, I need a little help here. Hi there, what's your name? Oh, Candy. Candy, could you stand up here just for a second? Could you hold these groceries? Uh, we're going to do a little routine here. Oh, my oh, uh, yes, they're heavy. Oh, that's all right. No, just sit here. Now, when you go to the grocery store, do you keep a list with you? Very little. Very little. Well, you know, I, I try to get some eggs and some milk and a loaf of bread, and we're going to tell you a little bit later why it's very, very important to actually bring a list with you. And we're also going to see if lending a helping hand can actually backfire on you. All that and a lot more on what would you do. Are you all right here? Is this okay. going to be okay for you? Okay, just hold those for me for a little while. You can sit down if you want. Okay, it's okay. What, 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 would, you, what, what, what would you do? Summers here, and every day, as you know by now, we have a co-host of the day, and his name is Tommy McIver. He's from Plymouth, Massachusetts. Come on over here, Tommy. Let's hear it for Tommy. How are you? Good to see you. So, what's new in your life, Tommy? Well, you're going to help us out with a lot of things. Now, let me ask you a question really quickly. Do you do any animal impressions? No. No, none at all? Oh, okay, well, I'll tell you what. We'll get back to you in just a bit. Who does animal impressions? Anybody at all? Who does a really weird animal? Somebody do a real... Come on down here. Come on down over here. What's your name? Steven. Steven. Steven, where are you from? Orlando, Florida. Oh, my gosh. You came a long way. What'd you do? Roll out of bed and come over here today, right? Right. Okay. Now, what weird animal do you do? Peacock. Let me, let me see the peacock. <coughs> Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, sir. I have a real treat in store for you today. What would you do is happy to present an animal impression act that goes back 65 million years. Please welcome a gentleman who's with us a lot on this show, Dee Baker, doing the dinosaurs. Come out here, Dee. How are you? Hello again. Hello. I love the way you kind of skipped out there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about the dinosaurs. Taking your Merv Griffin impressions out there, too, as well, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, where'd you get those? You in the clowning business as well? Look at these pants, Dee. That's what I am, yes. You're really... <laughs> Dee does all sorts of great stuff on our show. We have a good time with him. Now, tell me about, uh, how did you get into doing dinosaurs? I got into dinosaurs by loving dinosaurs as a kid. Mm -hmm. And so I loved acting like dinosaurs, and I still do it. What, which ones can you do? Which ones can I do? Would you like to see them? Yeah, please. All right, then. Let's start out with a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which has very short arms. Okay. <laughs> now, that's weird. I like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What else do you do? Uh, there's a Brachiosaurus, which is, has a very long neck and eats vegetation a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now for the piece de resistance here, I'd like to utilize four grapes for my Velociraptor. Oh, I can hardly wait. And kids, I just want to remind you that stay in school, otherwise you'll end up like that, all right? Now, it seems to me that dinosaurs are... Will you swallow those things? <laughs> dinosaurs are more popular than ever. And, and do you remember these movies when you were a kid? Uh, Japanese primarily, but some French and some foreign films. Oh, yes. Remember those where they would come in and, and you'd see their lips move, but five minutes later the real conversation would come in? Mm -hmm. Anybody here ever seen those foreign movies like that? We want to do one. I, I need a couple of kids who want to come down and help me out over here. I need a couple of guys. And uh, You want to help me out, sir? You come down over here. Don't go away, Dee. Uh, I need another guy. You would be good. And I need a lady who wants like to help name. me out. I need a lady who... Oh, this young lady right over here. Come right over here. Right around this side. Hi there, you stay over here. And uh, what is your name, sir? Come on. Where are you from? L.A. Nice to see you. And uh, you don't have to spell. We're all grown ups here. And uh, what's your name? Josh. Where are you from, Josh? Orlando. Very good. And you are? Anna. Anna. Where are you from? South Carolina. Did you know that your name is spelled backwards is the same as forward? Yeah. Very good. I just wondered if you were staying awake here with us. Well, we're going to do a little thing where we're going to teach you how to do a, a little playlet of sorts. You will become the What Would You Do players, and uh, if you go back with Dee, we promise we'll bring you back a little bit later. Right over there, follow Dee. Thank you, Dee. Uh, 
We're going to be getting to this bit a little, a little longer. You feeling okay? Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's okay. A little heavy? No, no, don't put them down. We're going to come right back to it. When I come back, I need you to be ready to go. Yeah, okay, good. Now, I need uh, some people. Who does the grocery shopping in their houses? That's what I want to see. I want to do a little grocery shopping routine here with... Uh, now, generally, women do the shopping, but I see a man back here. Do you really do the grocery shopping, sir? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Is this your daughter? Yes. Come on down. Let's go over here. Let's uh, have a little contest. How are you? Very good. What's your name? Stacy. Where are you from, Stacy? Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, California. Where? Hollywood, Florida. Oh, very good. And uh, now, the question is, why do you decide to do the shopping in your family? Well, the first rule is never go shopping hungry. Yeah. So my wife usually goes shopping hungry, so I have to go along so she doesn't buy all the extra junk food. I see. So you don't like junk food? Well, I like it, and the problem is I like it too much. I see. Okay, well, that <laughs> happens to all of us. Well, let me uh, ask you if you can remember things on a list. I have a list here of things that we want to uh, send you shopping for. Can you read that list to your dad there? 25 pounds of dog, dog food. Dog right. Big eggs. We have Pastures. We have ketchup. Then we have... Uh, a dozen brown eggs. A dozen brown eggs. We have a fake plant, a half a gallon of milk, spaghetti. What else? What's the next one? Toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper. I gave you the good one, didn't I? Uh, Tabasco sauce. What else is there? Green beans. Green beans and a broom. Green. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to remember that list. Now, how long have you been married, sir? Uh, Fifteen years. Fifteen years. And you have more children than this young lady? Yes. How a many? Son. A son. Okay, and how old is he? He's a, uh, seven. Seven years old. Okay, here's a little proposition I have. You cannot look. He's eight. He just had a birthday as we stood here, right? Okay, good. <laughs> now, you hide that list from your dad, Stacy, because I'm going to send you on a little shopping spree. And, uh, Tommy, could you come over here? We want to give him a shopping basket, okay? Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> what I'm going to do is send you over there to go shopping in the What Would You Do Mini Mart, okay? All right. Now, if you can remember eight out of those ten items and bring them back here, you're going to be in good shape. But for every one less than eight that you get, you know what's going to happen? Pie. Yes, you get to pie your dad in the face for every one that he doesn't get. But if he gets eight out of ten, Stacy, you know what's going to happen? You're going to the pie wash, all right? So that's the challenge. So don't show him the list anymore. We're going to give you 30 seconds to get eight out of the ten items on that list. Oh, where are you going? You got a date here? I'll take care of the 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go! Run over there. I'll hold on to this list. He's got to find 30 seconds to find eight. And will he be able to pull it off? He's down to just about 20 seconds. And will he get the right items or not? You can only take... Now, you can't take too many. You can't take too many. Got just eight seconds. Come on over here. Stop right there, stop right there. And you know, folks, when we come back, we're going to find out if he's getting pied or she's going to the pie wash. You won't want to miss that. We'll see you just uh, about 60 seconds from now. going here with uh, Stacy and her dad. You had 30 seconds. Now, uh, remember, if he gets 8 out of 10, you're in uh, big trouble, I have a feeling. 25-pound <laughs> dog food bag. There it is, sir. My goodness, you've got it buried down there. But well, it's that been... was first. Yeah, it was first. You got that right away, so you don't have to take that out. That's one. Do you have any ketchup in here? Of course. Uh, that's number two. A uh, dozen brown eggs. Did you get that? Got that. Yeah, that's three. A fake plant. Did you get a fake plant? plant. Oh, good. He missed that one. That's good. That's oh, good. Wow. See, it's up there. A half a gallon of milk. Did you get that? Yep. Yeah, right over there. Spaghetti. Did you get any spaghetti? spaghetti. Oh, you're too good. Uh, toilet paper. Did you get any toilet paper? Ooh. Missed toilet paper. It takes too much food. It's got five out of seven. Tabasco sauce. Yep. Did you get any Tabasco sauce? Are you sure? Oh, you did. How about green beans? Get any green beans? And uh, the answer is, did you get a broom? Yes. Where's the broom, sir? Well, I forgot it. You uh -oh, did. I what's that? About it and I forgot. You forgot uh -oh. the broom, but. I will tell you, he got 8 out of 10. He missed the fake plant. He missed the toilet paper. Congratulations, sir. You did a great job shopping. And Stacy, you know what that means? Let's go to the pie wash. Come on, let's go over here. Take off those glasses and uh, put on uh, our goggles. You can come over here, Dad. 
Now, Stacia just said, Dad, you're in deep trouble. She figured there was no way in the world that you were ever going to get 8 out of 10. We're going to strap her in. You're probably going to really delight in this, aren't yes. you? Yes. Why don't we just step back over here, folks? We're going to give her four revolutions. Ready? Hit it, guys. Here goes number one, number two, number three, and number four. Let's uh, hose her off there. <laughs> you going to go grocery shopping with your dad? No. Oh. Let's have a round of applause for Stacy. Thank you, sir. Good job. We'll see you a little later. Thank you. Well, speaking of shopping, oh, by the way, are you doing all right? We're going to get to this bit in just a little bit. Okay. It's, it's, I oh, good. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> I wanted to uh, find some uh, people here on What Would You Do and ask them to lend us a helping hand. So we went out to a little diner to see how far some families would be willing to go to be really helpful. And Dee was, was, was with us. Watch. Our What Would You Do hidden camera crew went to a local Waffle House to set up this situation. What would you do if you had to lend a helping hand serving food and cleaning tables? That's our hidden camera booth in the background. More pork over here. Great. Hello. Hi, hon. What's wrong? Just, just a minute. Oh, she got out. It's okay. Yeah, it, it'll be all right. L Larry's, Larry's still home. The puppy will be okay. Our actor is going to play on their sympathy by inventing a lost puppy story. I mean, who could resist that? Our dog got out at home. Yeah, just... Okay, yeah, just... Would you mind passing that over to them, please? I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it'll be okay, honey. It'll... Yeah, that, that, look, look, the puppy's going to be, the puppy's going to be fine. It, hey, Adam, could, could you hop back here real quick? I'll give you a quick lesson back here, come on. It's, o it's okay. Yeah, look, I'll be home in just a minute. If you could just fill up one of these with some ice and just go ahead and fill it up with some OJ there. OJ and Alka Water. Hello. Hi, honey. Yeah? Um, uh, you looked outside? Have you? Mean, you follow up with him uh, for about an hour. The guy on the okay. right looks unmovable. <laughs> could, could, could one of you help me out and just bring a couple of those dishes o and set it over here for me? I'm sure. I guess the dog story got to him. I, I think Wally should be home any time now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, um, they have like a homing sense. I'm sorry. Here, honey, could you help out? Look, I've got, honey, I've, I've got people here. Is there any more? Actually, if you could hand me a couple of those dishes there. I, I've got a family emergency on the phone. My, my, our dog got loose. Enough is enough. Let's have breakfast and then we'll go find the dog. Well, we're back with Stacy and her dad, and you know, Stacy, your dad kept saying, well, I got eight out of ten, I got eight out of ten. You see, I have two check marks, one for fake plant, which he didn't have, and toilet paper, which he didn't have, and he said he had the broom. Well, we went back and looked in the basket. He didn't have it. So you got all that pie for no reason. So I have a little option for you. I can give you a token, 